Hello wonderful humans, are you here to talk about boobies? <laughs> so bouncy, I'm gonna die. I've been very annoying and I'm flying to Texas super early tomorrow morning, so I don't have another opportunity to refilm the video that I've already tried to film about breast reduction. So what I'm gonna do is just edit what I've got um, because by the time you see this, I'm gonna be in Texas already. So I just wanted to get something live for you to watch. Hopefully there's enough information there that you feel like your questions have been answered. However, if there's literally anything else you wanna know, please comment, please DM me. I will do my best to get back to anything and everything. Truly, nothing is TMI. Nothing is gonna be offensive to me. You can ask anything that you want. Like I, I love talking about this. I love encouraging women to talk about their bodies. I'd also like to make a disclaimer that I'm not a professional in any way. I'm not telling anyone to do anything with their body. I'm just speaking about my personal experience. And I'm sorry that this video is a little bit of a shit show. And you can literally like I get in the car. I got in the car a few days ago. I started to film this at like 5 p.m. And then the and then obviously the night just got darker and darker and then my camera died. So that's brilliant. So sorry that the lighting's just going as I get through the questions. However, yeah, as I mentioned, I hope this answers some of your questions and just let me know if there's any others. I love you so much. Let's get into the video. Oh, yeah. oh welcome to my vehicle. Hello! Oh my goodness, my steering wheel is just so big. Can you see me? I just don't take my shoes off and get comfortable. Hang on. I bring snacks. You see that? Does anyone else just lose all their energy if they don't have something to munch on? I was like raiding Steve's. Truly nothing like a fresh cherry tomato. I was raiding Steve's fridge. There it is. But hi, how are you? I hope you're having a good week. Let me just shove one of these baby bells in my mouth real quick. This is going to go live the Sunday that I'm in Texas. Um, so I'm currently filming this at Steve's house because so I'm saying goodbye before I go traveling. But it's a topic that I keep promising you I'm going to talk about, so let's talk about it. As soon as I've applied my lip gloss. <laughs> to a nice song that is on repeat in my head, Lip Street, every single day. This is going to show how old I am. That little mama lip gloss song. My lip gloss is cool. My lip gloss is popping. I'm standing at my locker and all the boys keep stopping. What you know about me? What you what you know about? Oh, it's such a fucking banger. Anyway, let's chat about boobs, shall we? I write down loads of questions because you guys sent me in loads on my Instagram. And I'm just going to run through everything that you ask. However, I also want to explicitly say this is obviously a very biased opinion. Please just don't consider this me telling you to get your boobs reduced or change in any way this is just you, me explaining how this whole process went for me i think it's just really important that you know that i'm just trying to be open and honest about my life always but that's never me telling anyone else how to live or be okay okay starting off strong with my experience of a booby reduction one of the questions that i got quite a lot is was am i too young obviously i don't know anyone's age that messages me however I was 21 when I got mine done and I'd wanted them to be reduced from the age of like 14, 15 because they were huge. They were literally, I was like a 28 back but I had these huge titties and my back hurt constantly and from being prepubescent I just knew that I needed to get them locked off of me. They were just so heavy and so uncomfortable and they made me hate doing sport. I never wanted to run, I never wanted to do any kind of physical fitness, I never wanted to go on holidays, I never wanted to go stay my, around my friends houses because packing was such a kerfuffle and I was embarrassed of the fact that I had to wear three bras to do any kind of activity and my bras were always so sweaty because they were just so heavy and difficult to carry. It just was so much physical exertion constantly. Um, but yeah, I don't know how old you are. However, I was 21 and I'd known that I'd wanted them to be reduced for a solid five or six years. It like consumed my life how big my boobs are. Also, my boobs were a massive part of my personality. Like from a year, really young age, I was really over-sexualized and I felt like I acted up to it. Like, I feel like I played into that role however it didn't make me comfortable it actually made me really depressed because weirdly i thought it was the only thing that was good about me it's the thing that people praise the most but that also made me feel really uncomfortable and dirty um but yeah i was 21 
and I've thought about it for a very, very long time. I'm now 30 for reference, by the way, and I've gained a significant amount of weight and they've grown back up to like a D, but I'll talk about sizing in a minute. Were you told to lose weight before getting a reduction? Was it a requirement? Yeah, so I spent like six months trying to lose weight and my boobs stayed the same size. If anything, they felt bigger because my body was shrinking, but my boobs remain big. It's weird, even now after my reduction, like my boobs are the first thing that gain weight, which is really annoying. I just can't get rid of them. If anything, that's part of the reason why I like to run so much because it keeps my boobs like, a reasonable manageable size even now i don't know i would consider getting another reduction they still feel a little bit uncomfortable for me because they grew again which yeah we'll talk about that in a second what were your reasons for wanting a reduction oh my goodness i just felt so uncomfortable in my skin they hurt my body hurt i felt so ashamed of yeah how sexualized i was when i was very young i went to a club I'm not gonna incriminate myself by including my age how how young i was there um and this girl bottled me she called me a slag she came up to me and she literally used her wkd bottle to smack me around the gob and some of my teeth got chipped in fact you can't really see it this from where you are let me show you i don't know if you can see that tooth is still slightly chipped because she thought i was a slag because i had my boobs out I didn't, I was just wearing the same kind of clothes that all of my friends are wearing, but obviously because my boobs are so big that they were technically out. I felt like I was disappointing my family constantly because I just looked so sexual all the time. I just want to interject that real quick while I'm editing this video. You're not a disappointment for having a divine feminine body, for being womanly, for being voluptuous. However, I'd had some issues from when I was very young whereby I'd go to cultural events and maybe I'd be hit on and it would be made to be my fault because the men that were hitting on me were in their 50s, 60s, they had husbands, they had wives even, and I was what I would now consider a child. So I'm using those words knowing that my mental health was pretty significantly impacted by those events. However, if I was to have a daughter, and I'm going to assume that she will have similar genetics to me and potentially a similar body type to my natural body type, she will know it's not her fault. Like, she will know that she is perfect and... Luckily, we live in an environment today whereby I could stand up for her and I would not be judged because I think that was very difficult to do 15 years ago as a parent. But yeah, I just wanted to cut my back there because yeah, if I had a little girl, she'll know that she's perfect the way she is and any changes she wants to make to her body will be because she wants to make them, not because anyone has made her feel insignificant in any way. Anywho, let's get back to the video. Oh, I didn't feel like I was living. Like, I felt like I was living in someone else's body, which is a really weird feeling, you know? Because the minute I got my boobs reduced, I remember crying and just saying, like, this is how I was, I was supposed to be born. But ultimately, I'm so glad that I did it. Like, it really, I'm sure many people have had negative responses to getting booby jobs. However, it changed my life for the better, and I'm so glad that I personally did it. Do they look natural? Can your boyfriend others tell? Are they perkier? I think like you do naturally have a lift. So I had the anchor. I have like an anchor shaped scar. So they cut around the nipple, go down and then underneath. So they like remove the, the nipple and then they like reduce the size and like lift them up slightly because there was so much, like they were literally huge. So I guess they kind of naturally had to lift them up when they reduced the amount of skin and fat that they removed. Um, I asked for a natural shape. I don't have any like implants in there if i didn't have scarring and tattoos on my boobs i don't think that you would know that i'd had a reduction i feel like they are a very natural shape and feel as well like i really enjoy the way that they feel and so does my partner and other partners so steve um i actually really love my boobs now they're yeah i mean they are a little bit big already but it has been 10 years since i got the reduction i've gained a significant amount of weight and they still look great when i had massive boobs they were so big that like they were pretty much touching my belly button like they were literally so big for my frame and i've always been like a naturally shorter smaller framed person so to have boobs that were literally so big on my body i just couldn't wear anything without looking like my boobs are out and when they were bigger they were definitely heavier and therefore they hung lower however now they kind of naturally like if i was to take my bra off they would pretty much sit here they don't really move honestly and i think that they do look and feel very natural yeah i really want a reduction but i'm scared my body won't feel like mine anymore or foreign or wrong that was a really big worry of mine and that's why i didn't get silicone like i'm i was very nervous of putting anything into my body like i just wanted to remove excess skin and fat and size and 
I literally, I remember waking up the day after the operation. This is actually a really funny story. My parents are divorced and they had like a fairly tumultuous divorce. And so I'd never really saw them together after the age of like 11. And when I woke up from my breast reduction, they were both stood up over me. And I remember like bawling because I thought I'd died. I was like, am I dead? And it was just them stood over me. But anyway, to answer your question. Um, yeah, I felt like that was the body I was supposed to be born in. They just fit me so much better but i was also very specific about the size that i wanted like i knew exactly what i wanted and loads of surgeons kept pushing me to change that however i was adamant like i knew exactly how i wanted them to look on my body i'd done so much research so when surgeons were pushing me in other directions i just didn't listen to them and they did by the way if you end up going and speaking to a plastic surgeon they have an idea of how you think that you want to look it's fully your responsibility to do that research because all of my friends that have had negative experiences of boob jobs, they've gone for what their surgeons suggested as opposed to what they wanted. So I'm so glad that I was very, very clear, stuck to my guns. Also, my mum really pushed, my mum pushed me. My mum was like, you do not want to go as big as they're suggesting. You do know what you want. So I'm really glad that I had her mind behind me because she's a very strong woman. Oh, that's a sweet one. Do you have any regrets? I hate my breast now, but I'm worried I won't like myself if I change. I have no regrets. I am so happy. I'm also not someone that places a huge emphasis on the way that I look. I place a lot of emphasis on the way that I feel, and I don't know if that would make a difference. I wanted to be able to run around with my friends and travel and not have my boobs out. Every opportunity, a reduction was the right decision for me you definitely do feel different but it like having a breast reduction like opened up my world i remember i got the reduction at my second year at uni my first year i was like miserable and i would just wear these like men's t-shirts around university i felt so uncomfortable again i felt really over sexualized and then i got the breast reduction went back for my second year and then i decided to do an erasmus degree holy shit that car was so close an Erasmus degree basically allows you to live in another country for a year. You do a different language at university and then you get to travel to that country. You get to go to university or work there. I did Spanish, so I lived in Spain for a year. I would not have done an Erasmus degree without getting my breasts done. Like, I just would not have felt comfortable to travel. I did not like traveling before I had my breasts done. So literally, my breast reduction changed the whole trajectory of my life. You know, I wouldn't have gone to Spain. I wouldn't have been so creative. I wouldn't have got into photography. I wouldn't have started any freelance work. I wouldn't have made all of my American friends. The majority of my friends are American and Spanish now. It's probably why you don't see me hanging out with many in London because I don't really have that many in London. Like my friends are dotted all around the world. But I love that. Like it gives me an opportunity to travel still. I have like goosebumps. I, I have zero regrets, genuinely. And I feel more like myself than I ever did. If anything, I didn't feel like I was living in my body before because people would always stare at it because genuinely the size of my breasts and my body was so polarizing that i would walk down the street and disassociate to stop myself from feeling embarrassed because people would literally stare at me i would get a lot of male attention and so i would just have to pretend i wasn't there pretend it wasn't me experiencing that women would occasionally not be that nice to me um so yeah i now feel like i'm in the right body for me any tips to prepare the body before surgery to recover afterwards? Thanks so much. Do you know what? I got quite into training just before university, like weight training, and that was incredible. Like I feel like if you can sub if you can build muscle mass before you have any kind of surgery, it definitely helps you to heal quicker afterwards. I'm so so glad that I focused on that. I pretty much dropped cardio. I mean, I did a little bit of cardio, but I just mainly did things that would support my core and my legs because I knew I wouldn't be able to train for a while and muscle is super important for women and I knew that so I was like I'm going to train pretty hard for a short amount of time because I know I'm going to have to take a few months off afterwards interestingly the day after my operation I came home and my mum made me go for a walk like around the village and it was kind of a testament to the way that I trained and like the fact that I had enough muscle and I was in good enough shape that I felt pretty good the day afterwards like I think I was pretty drugged up but obviously everybody's different and I, I'm pretty sure the doctors say that you shouldn't do that but I personally felt very ready um so definitely listen to what your doctors say I made sure that I continued to eat that's something that I think is really important actually afterwards make sure that you have all of your meals because the medication fucked me up way more than the surgery did like the medication makes you so nauseous and if you don't eat because you feel nauseous from the medication 
then you get into the cycle of just feeling more and more sick but if you eat despite but if you make sure that despite the fact that you feel nauseous because of the medication if you still manage to make yourself eat then it does help to lessen that nausea and then you're able to like still get outside still feel somewhat normal considering the fact that you've just been cut open generally just eat well and move well in the lead up to help you eat well and move well afterwards but yeah the best thing i could have done was get super into weight training before without a doubt that helped me re to recover was it hard to choose how much to reduce by okay this is interesting it wasn't hard to decide how much to reduce by the hard <coughs> excuse me the hard thing was convincing surgeons how much i wanted to reduce by every time i spoke to a surgeon they would be really pushy on the fact that i was wanting to go to oh, that was close i just knew that i wanted a small handful right i wanted to dress like all the other girls i wanted to wear the cute little tops i was just sick of my boobs getting in the way i just wanted them i wanted to have something there but i ultimately just wanted to move and travel and wear the clothes that i wanted to wear so i knew that i just wanted to be like a bee i knew i wanted to be a handful also i had an understanding of the fact that i was a smaller 20 year old and that because of my genetics and my family i knew that when i got closer to my 30s i would start to gain weight um so i was like obviously if my boobs are the place that i gain weight then i'm probably going to gain weight in my breasts again and lo and behold i did like i've got big boobs again which is the reason why i would consider getting another reduction and yet yeah, all of the surgeons kept telling me trust me a b is too small trust us a b is too small and i am so happy that i went down to a b because pretty much six months afterwards i was already like a small c like i gained weight after the operation because i had to eat loads to keep the nausea down and yeah do your research i remember looking at loads of topless models so that i could take to the hospital and show all the different surgeons i was meeting with and i'm so glad that i went much smaller than they suggested like i stuck to my guns what do my nipples look like now <laughs> you guys i went to a school whereby i was one of the only people of color there and people weren't always that nice and because i had massive boobs like one of my first sexual encounters was people not necessarily being very nice to me and i very quickly gained the nickname burger nips because my nipples were so big after the operation I think I, I I actually never asked any questions about this, so I don't know how this happened. But my boobs, my nipples went from being potentially about this size. Yeah, my nipples were about this, like the brown areola part, to now I feel I'd say like the brown part is probably about this size, like significantly smaller. And I don't know if they just no, they must have had to cut a load off. I actually don't know how that happened. However, they are so much smaller. How was recovery in general? Mine was pretty swift, but I think that that was because I weight trained a lot in the lead up. I also ate really well. Also, I had my mum looking after me for like two weeks. She literally brought me up, brought me breakfast, lunch and dinner upstairs for my, for my bedroom for like a week straight. She washed my hair constantly. She really looked after me. So you can't raise your arms above here. So you can't really do anything for yourself. But I had someone that I could, that could live in with me and look after me for as long as i needed which i'm so so grateful for so that's a big recommendation actually don't underestimate how much support you need especially if you're needing to take time off work you're still going to need someone to be at home with you and to basically baby you for like a week maybe two weeks straight i suggest someone that's very close to you because they're gonna see you butt naked and they're gonna be looking after you at your worst however it was worth it like I got a great rack now. I'm very happy with them. I'm very happy with the ladies. Best scar care that actually helped. Pfft, it was all bullshit. Like all the oils everyone told me to buy. Pfft, the only thing that really did work a little bit was even now every day, I kind of just use two fingers to like go around in a circular motion in those areas. Um, because I have darker skin, so I was told that darker skin doesn't heal from scarring as well as white skin so my scars healed very quickly however the marks on my breasts never fully went away so i got tattoos over the scarring 
um, like a year later so it wasn't more painful than your average tattoo I'm really glad that I did it, it also makes me feel very sexy like I chose a pattern that's literally just stunning I'm really really happy with my decision I remember sitting down with my friends in Spain when I moved to Spain for a year and I, and I basically told them that I hadn't been able to sleep with anyone for a year because I didn't want to get naked and they were like it's funny you literally got your boobs done so that you would feel confident like you need to do what you can to get yourself back there because f I mean f for me being physical is an important part of a relationship however I digress <laughs> one of the girls that I was living with came up with the idea that I should just get tattoos over the scars and phenomenal idea like I literally got the prettiest mandala style tattoos and I'm so happy with them also I got the tattoo done at like 7 a.m. in the morning because apparently your pain threshold is way lower in the morning so maybe it could have been way more painful if I got it later on in the day but it was okay as far as tattoos go like it wasn't as bad as I thought the worst bit was like um so you know like I was trying to get my boobs out you know like the bit in the middle like the bone uh that you can feel in your, in your teeth you're like you're lying there and you're like Aah. otherwise I'm pretty happy <laughs> great experience uh did I need any fluid drainage I didn't how painful was recovery I had more nausea than pain the medication bloody fantastic helped me with so much of the pain but the nausea it's such strong medication that truly that knocks you out but yeah like i mentioned you just have to make sure that you're eating enough what was recovery like how long till i can work run exercise again the doctors suggest an amount of time that you should take off completely i recovered very quickly like i was back exercising and working and stuff pretty quickly however i'm not going to tell you that amount of time because i'm worried people will take it as gospel go see your doctor speak to them but just so you know if you're looking after yourself you're exercising well you're eating eating well i think it might be quicker than you'd expect like for me that was the case does it affect future breastfeeding i was told no so i spoke to my surgeon about it and he said that i'd still be able to breastfeed and i would really really love to breastfeed so i really hope that's the case everyone keep everything crossed that i'm able to have a baby and that i can breastfeed something i'm a little bit nervous about but ultimately the last 10 years with these phenomenal boobies have been excuse me have been great however i would really like to breastfeed and i've been told that i will be able to so like i'm scared to lose sensitivity in my nipples did you i think it's 50 50 whether you will or won't actually do you know what scratch that i don't know the stats i think it could go either way however i didn't lose sensitivity in my nipples i have friends that have i had the opposite my nipples got way more sensitive but i didn't really have sensitive nipples before so i've loved it like <laughs> were you judged by friends and family i'm expecting comments about breastfeeding yeah but i feel like i've been judged for every single choice i've made throughout my life and this made me really happy it's so interesting as well it made me more confident at work too like it didn't just make me confident in my personal life it impacted the way i showed up at work like the way i would stand prouder the way i would hold my chest high the way i would interact with people because before i used to assume everyone thought that i was flirting with them for some reason and then as soon as I got them done, I felt like people took me more seriously which, as in a professional capacity, which is really sad, don't get me wrong, like I recognise that that's really sad, but that was my experience. How much have the ladies fluctuated slash grown in size since the reduction? So I got them reduced to a B, so they did grow quite a lot, but it's been 10 years, I've gained a lot of weight, I would consider getting it done again but it's been a phenomenal 10 years. Like, I'm so glad I did it. I, f I think that's why a lot of people get a reduction and they then get silicone in, but I just wanted that, like, natural look and also was told that I'd be able to breastfeed. So that's why I went for the option that I did. And yeah, it was such an easy process for me personally that I'm not worried about potentially getting it done again if I wanted to. I've always wanted to get a reduction, but I'm scared I don't fit the criteria. People always comment on my breasts, but I'm worried they're not big enough and they would judge if I wanted to get it done. I got mine done privately. I was very, very lucky to have a mum that could support me to get mine done privately. I was initially told that I should lose weight. That made no change. I got them done and I'm so, so happy that I got them done. Also, there's a lot of people that you probably follow online that I, that I know of personally that I'm definitely not going to name that have had reductions and that have had little tweakments and you literally just would have no idea. Like they look so natural. They're so happy with the changes that they've made. For me, because it was predominantly for health reasons, I like didn't care if someone else told me I didn't fit a criteria like I, I knew that I was in so much pain mentally and physically that it was the right decision for me like who was anyone else to tell me that 
I wasn't. Do you know what I mean? Did you get a nipple lift? I saw you had a nipple piercing too. I got the nipple piercing a few years after the breast reduction. So I'm pretty sure I got nipple piercing when I was like 22 or 23. So I didn't have them pierced when I had massive boobs because I wouldn't let anyone look at my boobs because they were so big. How has it changed your life? I'm a different person. I'm so much more active. I'm so much more confident. Also not someone that I think will ever be super confident about the way my body looks. However, I don't think any women are, but I'm so confident in the way my body feels and can move. But yeah, it's, it's fully just changed my life. Just the fact that I used to hate travel before and I'm literally going on three work trips this month and I'm so excited about them and I'm not even thinking about the way my body's gonna look on those trips. Like, it, it's fully been transformational. Like, I'm so, so happy. Actually, you know what? I'm mainly grateful that I had a parent to support me because maybe 21 was very young to get it done. Also, maybe you would look at my family from the outside and think, well, her family's a bit too strict to allow her to get that done. However, my mum really supported me through it. My mum, as soon as she's... I hid my boobs from my mum till I was about 20, so she didn't know how big they were because I would always walk around in men's clothes. When I showed my mum my boobs, she was shocked by how big they were. She just thought I was a few dress sizes bigger because I would, yeah, I would always wear oversized clothes. When I finally showed her and told her how long I'd needed this for, she was just like, yeah, you do. Like, you absolutely need to, and I'm going to support you to get this done. So yeah, I'm, so, I'm very grateful for her. Also, she understood what I was saying about the breast sizing as well. Like when I said I was a B, that I wanted to be a B, she really understood my motives for that. I do just want to halt there for a second though. I'm sorry for another interjection. Annoyingly, I've lost a screenshot, but I'm just going to try and explain it to you as best I can. This lady sent me a DM saying that she had a really bad experience with having a breast reduction. She was effectively pushed into going a lot larger than she'd wanted, which is kind of similar to my experience like i remember doctors being like this is what's trending on tv this is what's popular this is what models look like in magazines right now i think when a friend of mine went recently to go get theirs done she was offered like the love island package but yeah this lady dm'd me and she basically said she's regretted having a breast reduction for her whole life because she got it done and she only wanted to go under the knife once and unfortunately they went much larger than she had really wanted and she obviously came away really disappointed, which sucks. But yeah, anyway. And who didn't necessarily have the best experience and she wished she'd drill down harder on her surgeon the size that she wanted to go. So this is just your sign, if you are considering it, to really, really, really research bra sizes, breast sizes, and remember that the surgeon doesn't know your body like you do. Not a single surgeon said that I was making the right decision, okay? Every single surgeon told me that I was going much smaller than I should go. Me again. My camera died, which is classic. However, there was one more question that I really didn't want to miss that I received. Did you feel like you were changing your body in order to love it? And I've just been chatting to Steve about this. Wait, Squeezy, maybe you can come in here and you can be here while I chat through this. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, we've just been having a conversation about this. And ultimately, we were saying that like, if I had a mental or physical ailment and I needed an operation for that, you would get it 100%, right? And in my pace, in, in my position, my breasts were so large that from my mid-teenage years, my back was in agony. Like I wasn't able to participate in sports. I was really physically bullied, some of which I'm just not going to tell you there. It was also very difficult for me culturally. So from both the mental and physical health aspects, like this operation did change my life and it did make me love myself. And yeah, I struggle with that. But ultimately, I was put in a position whereby financially I could do this. And it has literally, it changed my life. Like I, it I, I mentioned this earlier in the video, but like it literally just completely changed the trajectory of my life. I could dwell on the fact that I had to change my body to love it, but I choose not to. Like... It's a decision I made 10 years ago and I'm so happy with it. I think as you can see, it's really individual to the person. It depends on their situation, uh, where they are in their life and, and you know, how their body really is and how the world's reacting to it too. So for you, like you said, it was, you know, it really helped not just with your own confidence, but just with how people were treating, to to you, yeah. were treating you as well. Yeah. yeah. It's so weird. Like, I feel like I experienced a change in my privilege since having a breast reduction like people are significantly nicer with having smaller breasts which is so sad yeah it made my life easier anywho as i mentioned i'm sorry that this video was such a shit show i'll edit it together asap because i want you to have something to watch from me i hope it was useful 
I hope you like my new hair, by the way. I realize there's a hair change throughout this video. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Honestly, I'm thinking, I'm considering just going full out blonder. Well, I'm either gonna go cola red or maybe just like way blonder. We'll decide, okay? Cola red. Cola red could be cool. Why do you not like this? No, I love it. Mm, correct answer, okay. Well, I love you so much. I truly appreciate you being here, like genuinely. I guess I'll see you soon. Maybe, hopefully, if I don't flake, which maybe I won't. <laughs> okay, oh yeah, also I'd love it if you liked and subscribed. Okay, bye. <laughs>